you already know who it is it's your boy mike 21 mills and welcome back to another episode of super metroid super metroid yeah and this is episode number 12 and in this episode we're gonna go ahead and take on ridley's hideout ridley himself and right now we're just gonna run back to the hideout so in the meantime i'm gonna tell you guys a little story from my childhood well, I guess it's not really my childhood from my high school hood year from <sighs> Okay, it was 10th grade, right? And what we did at our school like for off season because I only played basketball. I didn't play football, didn't play no soccer. We didn't even have soccer. I didn't run track. All I did was play basketball. So during football season, me and the other guys who only played who didn't play football were in off season. So what we did for off season it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we went in the weight room, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, we ran around town, and now I live in a really small, really small town, so, you know, it was okay that we just run a, run around the town itself, like, we went, like, a huge, we just made a huge circle around the town and come back to school, that's what we did, but one day, me and my friend James, we decided to cheat a little bit, we usually run blocks, right, we decided to go in one block, pretty early you know just to just to cut away because what happens is our coach who follow he follows us on a bike and he follows us really far behind to make sure nobody gets too far back and make sure we're not walking and all that stuff so we go out we cut early and so we're walking on one of the end blocks and we're just go the plan is to just walk early and cut through the whole block and you know meet them back at the school you know and act like we ran really fast when we didn't that was, that was a plan but what happened was we were walking through and we're walking we're walking we're walking and we come up on this house in this house the people at the house had like five six dogs there were two of them on the porch two big pit bulls and then in the fence there was these I don't even know what kind of dogs they were. They were huge. But the fence was like open. And we were just walking by and I'm like, oh, okay, well, they're, they're all chained up, right? They're all chained up. But James, he decides to go ahead. Uh, James, the guy who I was walking with, he decides to go ahead and switch to the other side of, of the road. So um, I'm walking on one side. He's walking on the other side. And we see all the dogs and they start barking at us. And I jump a little bit, but, you know, I just keep on walking. And, I mean, we're, we're good. We're just, I mean, there's just dogs and they're chained up. So I just keep on walking. And then the two of them on the porch stand up, right? And they're looking dead at me, like dead in my eyes. They're like, how dare you walk by my house and not say anything? That's what the dogs are saying to me. They, they start walking down the steps. And that's when I noticed they, cha they have chains on. But they're not connected to anything. So I was getting a little creeped out. A little creeped out. And so... We're walking, and I'm and I'm like I'm still looking at the dogs. But I say I was like I'm like James. I don't think them dogs chained up to anything. And he didn't say nothing. And so I'm walking, and they start barking. And I notice there's a big old hole in the fence. And so all the dogs that are inside the fence are like walking toward that hole too. And they're trying to come through. And I'm like, wait a minute, why? Why are they doing all that? Anyways, the dogs on the porch start running running right toward me. I turn around and I start running up the block. I look up. James already started running. He about a block away from me just just running as fast as he can. And so I have to I'm way behind. These dogs right on my tail. Man if I would have got bit I know I would have been so mad. It don't make no kind of sense. That them dogs weren't chained up or anything. That uh, that day I know I was scared. I was super scared. By the way, right here, that door on the left, that's just a save room. I didn't go in there. So yeah, that's my story. It was pretty lame. I could have told it better, but I don't care. I was just trying to put in some filler so we, till we got here to Ridley's hideout. Right here, if you go to the right, um, that just leads to another part of the area that we're going to go to later. We're just going to this, this left way first. We're going to the left first. And it's gonna be pretty awesome. Going here, Ridley. Really, I like the music in Ridley's really, uh, lair. I mean, it's like you know you're getting toward the end of the game when you hear some music like this. 
I mean, I'm just saying, you know it's good. You know it's good. He's getting down to business. Jump in this Chozo statue's hand. And he makes all the lava go down and then he can go through down here. Yeah, gotta get your power bombs out. Really, I should have just left them on there. Because, you know, I use, I, I think I, yeah, you use power bombs a lot in this area. So I should have just left them on. There's a missile. I had to, uh, I had to try this part a couple of times. Because that, that floor in between, in the middle there is all false bottoms. So, if you touch that, you don't fall through. And like that, yeah. And so, wait, oh, yep, that guy. Chozo statue. Now, what you want to do with this Chozo statue? This is the most powerful one, as you can see. It's golden. You want to use charge shots because if you use a super missile, the Chozo statue will actually catch the super missile and throw it back at you. I'm pretty sure I, tr I showed you guys that in this battle. I'm pretty sure I tried it once. It will catch the super missile and throw it back at you. What kind of mess is that? It's gonna catch the super. You know how mad I was when the first time I tried this. He was just catching the super missiles and throwing them back at me. See, look at that. He caught it and threw it back. That makes no kind of sense. But yeah, you want to stick with your charge shots and just keep moving, really. If he gets too close, then just jump high in the air. And when he does the little, the yellow waves, you want to stay high in the air as well. So you don't get hit as much. It's not too hard of a battle. Really, I was just making a bunch of careless mistakes. I wasn't taking advantage of my spin jump. I mean, space jump, which I could have been, but other than that, you know, I was, it was pretty good. I, I think that little move he just did where he spit out the little birds, I think that's a special move he only does when his life gets super low. I don't know, I've never seen it before. But then again, I haven't played this game much. So yeah, you uh, destroy that guy and you get one of the best weapons in the game, the screw attack. I, I think it's the best weapon, well... It's the most useful, and it's the most powerful, so, yeah, I guess I would make it the best weapon, huh? You see, now he's all green, she's all green when she spin jumps. That can just destroy pretty much anything. And I mean anything, like, seriously, it would destroy everything. I should have utilized it more through my playthrough, through the rest of the playthrough, but I didn't really use it as much as I should have. Because it can really obliterate everything. Any and everything. Had to check my map real quick. Make sure I know where I'm going. But yeah, that screw attack can obliterate any and everything. In here we got a little good old energy... <coughs> excuse me. Got a good old energy charge. And that's going to be good. Ooh, I hope you guys can't hear that in the background. That's my, my sister and her boyfriend are here. And they're in the living room, in the next room over, and they're making too much noise. It's making me mad. Maybe I'll have to edit it out if it's too loud. I have to listen and watch for it. Or maybe I'll just leave it in there because I'm kind of lazy. Yep. Oh, that better not hit me. Of course it hit me. Of course it did. Of course. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to screw attack through all of this, those old blocks, and the, the the lava here doesn't stop filling up. It will fill up the whole entire screen if you let it. So you just gotta be careful about that because that lava will oh it'll take down your life faster than you can say. Well, it'll take down your life fast, faster than you can say rapidly. No, okay. I'm just saying, it'll take Daniel life pretty quick. And look how this screw attack works. Did you see how I destroyed these yellow guys so easily with the screw attack? It's like that from pretty much every monster in the game. Except for the, you know, the bosses, of course. But I'm just saying, all the other monsters, it will take them down so easy. Now what you want to do is come over here, hit that left, come in this room, and look at this room. The outside of this room... Doesn't that look like Mickey Mouse to you? It does to me. Like, the Disney guy, Mickey Mouse, you know? That does look exactly like him. I'm telling you. 
See now the thing here is I didn't know that I didn't have the huge bombs. I could have just shot down in there. Those little red deals were getting on my nerves. Uh they were beating the crap out of me. But yeah. Oh yeah, remember when I said I wasn't sure if I'm doing 100% of this game? Well, yeah, I'm doing 100% of this game, so maybe I should change the title to 100% because I think only people only watch these a game. People will only watch a game like this either for the commentary or because it's 100% and there's a certain missile that they want to find or something like that. Anyways, this door takes you back to the beginning. Earlier, I said that it takes you to an area where you don't want to be right now. That's this area. See, we came back around a different way. That's what I like about this game. There's so many different ways you can go and make this game your own experience every time you play it. You know? I mean, there's general, there's the general way you're supposed to go, like the general direction you need to go, but even so, you can go in whichever way you want to go, sort of. Maybe I just sound really stupid right now, but I'm sure most of you know what, I'm what I mean. Or at least I hope you do. In this space jump, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting better at using it. Space jump slash screw attack. I'm getting better at it. Wait, no, I'm not, because this part, this is when I, um, some things happen. But yeah, that space jump. Ooh, that's weird to look at. You can't even tell when I'm, like, jumping without anything else in, on the... Uh, yeah, I fell down there. Look how fast my life goes down. That's, that's not good. That lava is not your friend at all. Now you want to hurry up and get out of here because that lava is coming up and it will not stop for anything. Anyways, what you want to do here is go down through the floor because we have a Ridley to fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, gotta love that screw attack. In there is the save room. A save room. And that's where we're gonna... That's probably where we're gonna end the episode out. If I remember, that's where we end the episode. Right here, you might as well keep your power bombs out because you're gonna be using them quite a bit. Quite a bit. I don't know why I didn't just leave them out myself. Cause I know you're gonna have to use them a lot. These guys, you can just forget them. Forget about them. You wanna come over here in this corner and use the power bomb because this opens up an area where you wanna go. Power bombs galore. And I think that was the last power bomb that we get, if I am correct. Although I don't remember. I think that is the last one. But, uh, we'll see. I don't know. Mm. I need to stop singing with the music. I mean, I guess that's a good way to sync up my audio, but, uh, what if I mess up too much or I get lazy? Anyways, this part right here... Frustrating. Because these guys, you have to hit them when they turn yellow. Otherwise, your shots do no effect at all have no effect at all even the screw attack doesn't does nothing so what I try to do really the best way to take them on is to separate them you have to separate them take them one at a time to get them to continuously kick at you because when you're in the middle like I am they're just gonna keep running back and forth on my practice run they jumped up and kicked me while I was just stay right in between them like so you see, I try to keep doing the screw attack because you're invulnerable when you're doing the screw attack. Or invincible, I guess would be the right way or to say. You can't get hit when you're doing the screw attack. So you just kind of stay, you want to stay a certain distance away from them to make them kick at you. And so they turn yellow and that's when you get your shot at them. And um, as you can see, <laughs> excuse me, as you can see, it's taking a while. You know, but I do eventually get them. You know, it just takes a little while. It's better to separate them, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. And they just shaved my life down. Shaved my life down. Just so much. It's not even fair. But oh well. It happens.
See, yeah, I got them separated a little bit. So it'll make it a little bit easier. The other one is just over there chilling, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's just over there chilling. Chilling like a villain. Just watching his partner get towed up. And he's dead. Because them charge shots do a lot of damage. The charge plasma shot do a lot of damage. Like, I killed this guy so fast. Well, no I didn't. But, I'm just saying. Plasma, charge plasma shot will do that damage. Yeah. And here we are. At the next room. For some reason I thought we were at Ridley, but we're not yet. We're almost there. We're almost there. Gonna do a little bit of grinding right here, though. Just a tad bit. Well, at least enough to get my life back up, you know. More than a tad bit. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was. That was weird, but okay. Grinding and grinding and grinding. Grinding away. Just gotta get this life though. I was gonna put a song in right here. Some music, but I couldn't get it to download and it was just getting on my nerves and so I just scrapped the idea and I'm just gonna talk. I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna get on everyone's nerves. But I don't care. Because that's what I do. This is uh, pretty boring, guys, and I apologize. You know, maybe I should have got that music. Because it would have helped. For some reason, my video keeps messing up. I don't know why. I mean, I can still hear the sound, though. So that's that's how I can just keep commentating and keep going on with it. Because I can still hear the sound. But this music, I mean, this video is just messing up. It keeps freezing on me. So I can't really see what's going on and everything. But I can hear it, so I kind of know what's going on. And it keeps skipping on me. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's really weird. But oh well. These things happen. You know? They just happen. I just hope I'm not going to have to scrap this commentary because I thought this, this was a pretty good episode of, com of commentary. I thought. Uh oh. You know what time it is. You already know what time it is. Ridley. Now what you want to do is grab your super missiles. Your missiles of superness need to be grabbed. They need to be out. You need to be destroying Ridley with them. Now what you want to do is you want to keep moving and keep screw attacking because he'll shoot those fireballs over and over and over again. Don't do what I'm doing and F up, Samus. You want to keep doing your screw attack and while you're in the air, get yourself a good position to bring it open and shoot him. You see, I keep trying to open up and shoot him when there's a fireball in my face, and that's not what you want to do. You want to try and get him in this little loop right here. You see this? He keeps bouncing on the other side because that's where you were. You want to try to get him in this loop and keep him in this loop, but it's hard to do. It's hard to keep him in it because eventually he'll bounce really high or he'll bounce really low, and it'll just mess you all up. But if you can get him in the loop, that'll really make the battle a lot easier. Other than that, all you got to do is just keep moving and stay screw attacking, that way you stay invulnerable. Invincible, I mean. Or invul- this, isn't that the same thing? I, I don't know. You just stay not being getting hit. Not being getting hit. Wh Michael, wh wh what is this vocabulary you're using today? Just, you want to keep- see I got him back in the loop for a second here. And that's what you want to do. If he happens to grab you, don't worry because he doesn't do anything but take, take you up to the roof and then he drops you. And you can get a free couple of licks in. You want to be careful though, because you don't want to waste your super missiles, because those are the most powerful things you have. Your regular missiles will work, but um, your super missiles are much better, of course. But then I run out of my super missiles, <coughs> excuse me, and I have to use the regular missiles. Which, I, I actually like using the regular missiles, because you can just spam a bunch of them at the same time. I don't know why. I guess because I'm used to Mega Man, just pressing the buttons over and over and over and over again. So yeah, 
That's what happens. Mm-hmm. And really is almost dead now. He is almost dead. You see how red pinkish he's getting, almost the same color as the background. Should be dead pretty soon now though. I mean it's a pretty straightforward battle. You just gotta watch out mostly for Ridley's tail because that will do damage to you. Like that's probably what you will get hit by the most, you know, to be honest. And he's dead now. He's dead finished. Done. Give me that life. Give me these missiles. Uh oh. Looks like the baby Metroid has gotten out of its cage and we got an energy tank. But yeah, the baby missile, baby Metroid is out of its cage. The baby Metroid that really took out the beginning of the game, if you don't remember. But yeah, I think it's out of its cage. We don't know where it's at. We're gonna have to find it and do something with it. I don't know how this game goes. I don't know the story. I need to get, I need to know the story. Apparently, Samus found the Metroid and the Metro the Metroid thinks Samus is his mother or something like that. I think that's 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 the gist of the story. The baby Metroid thinks Samus is his mother because Samus was there when it was born. Which makes sense. I mean other animals are like that. I mean Tom and Jerry always has that episode where the little duck thinks Jerry is his mother because he was there when it hatched or something like that or maybe the duck thought Tom was his mother and Tom was trying to eat it I, that would make sense wouldn't it? I, I don't know I haven't watched Tom and Jerry in forever that was a show back in the day so yeah we're gonna head back since we destroyed Ridley we're just about done with the game. I mean, almost. I mean, Ridley's dead. We killed all the dragons. What's left? You know? What's what's left? I mean, we killed Mother Brain in the other game. Like, what's left to do? You know? I'm just... We done destroyed the dragons. I guess we just go back to our ship and end this game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe that's all we gotta do left. I, I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, we're going off in the save room, and this is where I'm going to end it off. It's your boy, Mike21Mills, and I'm signing off. Yeah!